Hi, my name is Annalie Portman and this is the ninth lesson in the series of Finnish Political Culture and System. In this lesson we will look at Finnish foreign policy and peace mediation. Finland is constrained by geopolitical realities. It is way up in the north and fairly small. So this colors much of what its foreign policy and security policy can and does look like and we'll take a closer look at what this entails and what it means in the following slides. The core concept behind Finnish uh, foreign policy is that Finland is part of the West. Foreign policy is also very closely related to security policy and they share some common goals. For instance, promoting Finland's interests and its welfare. Foreign policy aims at economic and cultural goals where security policy aims at international security and stability. The foreign ministry state in their web page that Finland's foreign and security policy aims at preserving its, i.e. Finland's, independence and the democratic core values of the society. We have looked at these democratic core values in the previous lessons. It also aims at the promoting of the well-being of the citizens and their security. Finland is part of the EU. It joined the EU in 1995 and therefore being member of that international communi community Finland exercises its foreign policy together with the EU and of course at the same time wants to secure its national interests while it also participates in all sorts of endeavors in contributing to world peace. Finland being part of the West means the following things. The emphasis on democratic core values are shared with other members of the Western value community, i.e. the EU. Most of the EU members uh, side with Finland even though they are not Nordic countries, but side with Finland in many of value questions such as the core democratic principles. Finland wants to have a very active role in the EU as well. Being part of the West means that Finland internationally prom promotes stability and is involved in mediation, promotes peace, which can be seen in its participation in civilian crisis management. Finland wants to promote democracy and therefore ensures democratic elections by sending observers to various parts of the globe. Finland is strongly emphasizing human rights and promotes their observance and sides with the UN and the Declaration of Human Rights. Finland also, as a value statement, as a being part of the West, promotes the rule of law, which means that international treaties are to be respected and that they actually bind the parties who have signed them. Finland promotes equality which means Finland does actively seek to enhance the status of women and girls all over the globe and the fundamental freedoms tied in with being a human being that are common to us all. All these things are something, are things that are part of the foreign policy and its value emphasis. Finland in the EU is, Finland is represented by these people. As you can see, they come from a vast array of political parties and they are the ones who voice Finland's interests in the various EU arenas. These are the members of the European Parliament and of course Finland does have uh, other people working in the EU at various levels as well. But these are the elected ones to voice the concerns of the Finnish people in the EU. Finland, by the by, this is a bit of trivia, uh, also has these images by, by, that you can use and you can find them on the foreign ministry's web pages. Man and woman in sauna, the iconic Nokia cellular phone that worked everywhere and in any conditions, and heavy metal musicians. So we are the first country in the world to launch them. What about the security policy aims? The security policy is based on the geopolitical context for, Finnish, for, for the Finnish nation, which means that Finland is one of the Baltic nations. Uh, it surrounds large parts of Finland and together with Sweden and other Baltic nations, 
the, the security context is such that Finland wants to promote the stability and the security of the Baltic Sea area. Finland is therefore part of the Nordic and the Baltic geopolitical context. Finland is also firmly part of the EU. So the European context and the, and the promotion of Finland's security goals in the EU context are also very important. And Finland is also the neighbor of Russia. It's the, of all the EU countries, it's the one with the longest border with Russia. And Finland's history has meant that this geopolitical dimension has been of special interest and of special importance to take into consideration in various security policy moves. The priorities of the security policy are the stability of neighboring areas and, of course, to secure Finland's independence and regional integrity. Finland does have a conscript army and it's currently around 230,000 uh, strong in its wartime strength but can call upon about 900,000 to a million other people if necessary of Finnish citizens. Finland's defense budget though is around 2.9 billion which is about 1.4 percent of the GDP. Finland's priorities in its security policy is also the Nordic security cooperation and the strengthening of its Nordic ties especially with Sweden are very important and very significant for Finland. There are new plans in place for greater collaboration, which was also mentioned in President Niinistö's New Year speech in 2016. Security policy is also centered around the EU as a security community and around NATO partnership. Finland is not part of the NATO, but does have a partnership relationship with it. The EU is very important as a security community, and there are efforts made to strengthen and enhance the status of Baltic Sea region and the northern regions also within the European Union. What about the foreign policy aims? Well, the foreign policy is above all based on human rights and upholding them, and any other decisions follow from that, as is also mentioned in the Constitution. In trade policy, Finland promotes an open, rules-based free trade and global economy. And its development policy, uh, policy is based on sustainable development, so that in all that Finland does, it contributes to the global effort to eradicate poverty through economically and socially and ecologically sustainable development. Finland subscribed to the new goals passed by the UN as to how to de develop this common planet of ours. Uh, this uh, they also uh, the international cooperation is a very important part of foreign policy and Finland uh, endeavors to exert an effective impact on decisions that influence international relations and of course in cooperation with others significantly contributes to the promotion of human wel welfare and prevents the eruption of crisis. There are new security threats that need to be tackled together and need to be need to be solved, the, the potential conflicts need to be solved before they have time to develop into full-time, full-scale crisis and this can be done through cooperation. Human rights, the declaration that all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights is at the core of foreign policy. The peace works that Finland is involved in uh, apart from the, from the fact that peace actually creates the conditions for development. Mediation, therefore, is something that Finland is involved in with the aim of lasting peace. And therefore, Finland participates in the construction of political, economical and social institutions. That means that it's a long-term thing. It's not come here, broke a piece and go home, but it's something where Finland participates and tries to develop the countries where this mediation takes place so that the countries can stand on their own two legs. And mediation can naturally be used from throughout the conflict uh, cycle, from prevention to conflict mitigation and to resolution. The developed mediation practices at international level take place 
uh, in places like Northern Ireland, Western Balkans, Aceh, Horn of Africa, and so forth. Civilian crisis management is something that Finland does together with others. It takes active part in international cri civilian crisis management, especially with the view of promoting transition to democracy. There are generally about 100 Finnish civilians in different missions involved annually. In addition, Finland sends 100 persons, 100, uh, uh, persons annually to observe elections and they are then deployed through the EU and the OC, uh, OSCE. Finland, true to its gender uh, bias, it wants to increase the number of women in civilian crisis management and recognizes the value and the valuable input women can have in peace mediation. At the present, about 40% of the Finnish civilian crisis staff are women. Here is a map that shows you where Finland is actively part of civilian crisis management and also shows you where military crisis management is taking place. This data comes from November 2015. The Crisis Management Initiative is a Finnish independent non-profit organization. It was started by the uh, former president, Nobel Peace Prize laureate, uh, President Marti Ahtisaari in the year 2000. It is based in Helsinki, but it is involved in crisis management and peace negotiation all over the globe in the most difficult places as well, such as South Sudan, Ukraine, Afghanistan, Central African Republic, and the Cauc Caucasus. Uh, it focuses on conflict prevention, conflict resolution, and peace mediation. And although it is an independent, non-profit organization, its role has been very great and it has involved a lot of Finnish understanding and a Finnish neutrality to come between the parties with the absolute conviction that all conflicts can be settled. You can find more about the excellent work they do from their website, cmi.fi, and if you need the information in English, it is there. Who leads foreign policy? We talked about the role of the president, we've talked about the role of the government. Whose foreign policy is it? The foreign and security policy of Finland is directed by the president of the republic in cooperation with the government. The actual doing of it, then, there are many people involved, many, uh, many ministers, many instances and many people, but it's directed by the president and by the government. The prime minister has the principal responsibility for matters relating to the European Union. In the government, there are other key actors, such as the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Defense, and also the Minister of in Interior, because a lot of the issues influencing uh, in external and internal security have now become linked with domestic issues as well. The Minister of Defense is Jussi Niinistö, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs is Timo Soini. Now it's time to think. What is your country's foreign policy based on? Who leads it? This too is part of what makes Finland tick. <laughs>